156 power weight battle here, Paul Martin Abu versus Mickey Belmar here, Paulie. Abu has the black shorts trimmed in the white, and Belmar has the white shorts trimmed in blue and red. Belmar looks to be the taller, is the taller of the fighters. But Abu is coming, it seems to be coming right at Belmar. Abu comes in with that big right hand. Looks like it hurt. It hurt Belmar, but Belmar gets back his composure and now is in the center of the ring. Abu is, is just coming right at him, Paulie. Abu, Abu has that big right hand and he seems to be working it as Belmar has no place to go, it looks like. No, uh, he, uh, Belmar is uh, uh, backing up. He's a taller the fighter, the other shorter fighter is uh, looking for a knockout punch right away in this, this fight. He seems to be a shot and stocky a, a fighter, and uh, he, he's was throwing him uh, from way out there. Opening up, though, you got to watch out. You don't get caught with a straight right hand coming in. Uh, Abu does seem to be throwing those haymakers, Paulie, and he is leaving himself open. But it, but it seems to me that uh, Belmar doesn't really have much behind his punches. Actually, though, that combination co connected, and, and he's backing away and landing punches. Bel Belmar did a good job backing up and catching uh, uh, Abu, and Abu is uh, open to get hit with anything right here. But it looks like a tough kid, but he's going to tire out if he keeps it up. As long as uh, Belmar can take those uh, wild punches, uh, it, but he's going to get off some straight right hands, catch uh, uh, Abu coming in uh, with a good right hand. That's what he needs to do. He's got to stick him, use his left jab. Uh, Belmar, he ain't doing that, but that's what he's got to do with a fighter like Abu. Abu see, seemed to be the more aggressive in that round, Paul. He was the more aggressive as he came in and landed a couple of haymakers. And Belmar see, seemed to uh, just, just kind of hang in there and, and last and survive through the round as, as as Martin Abu was throwing some some solid punches and a couple of them landed. Yep, uh, Abu uh, uh, thrown a lot of uh, wild punches. I say uh, from uh, way out, keeping his ways uh, open uh, uh, to be hit. And uh, but Belma has not uh, got anything off because uh, Abu was on top of him and giving him a chance to think. Of course, you know uh, Belma got to be very nervous, very tensed up in there. But I know his corner's telling him right now. Try to catch uh, Abu coming in, throw some jabs to keep him away from you with that jab. And Belmar's not using the jab, but he has to start using his jab and firing some good straight right hands. He could hurt Abu. Abu was definitely leaving himself open, and there, starting the second round, Belmar seemed to land a combination. Now it seems that that Abu is is more in the boxing style instead of trying to throw those haymakers and land and end the fight early. But Belmar coming back with a combination now. Yep, uh, yeah, Abu uh, slowing down a little bit, but he's still rushing in. And, yeah, Abu's the type of uh, fighter. Yeah, and there it is. He did get he caught. And, uh, it looks like uh, when the slip, the referee got in the slip. But there was a punch thrown there. It looked very close there, but there was a slip. But uh, Abu uh, coming in like that, rushing in. Belmar's got to use his jab on him. Keep a jab on him. There it is. Got to keep that jab on that that might have been it, Paulie. They, in the corner for, for uh, Belmar, they may have been telling him to try to stay away and, and work the jab as a boot doesn't, his unorthodox style is just more or less throw what you can and see if it lands. Now it's kind of running around the ring. 
Belmar coming back with a combination. The fighters are tied up, now separated by referee George P Jordan Pico. But B Belmar has done, done a good job to stay, stay alive here. A big right hand landed by Abu, but Belmar comes back with a punch of his own. Yep, uh, Abu was uh, really throwing him from uh, uh, left field and right field there. And uh, he's tiring out, but he's still charging in. He's a very hard uh, guy to fight, to get set with. And uh, uh, Belmar has to like, stay away throwing punches, jabbing him all the time. His right hands, he just threw a good right hand in. But he's got to keep firing uh, Belmar. He, he can't get, let a bull keep uh, throwing punches, like rushing in and like that. He's got to hurt him and, uh, and keep him hurt. Belmar has done a good job to stay around in the boxing ranks to make it to Lowell here in the Golden Gloves, Paul. So he, he must know something, but Abu has, has just kept that pressure consistent throughout this fight. And Belmar has done, his, done a good job to, to, stay, to stay on his feet and stay around. But you mentioned that it, it's, gonna, it's gonna be Belmar. Belmar is gonna have to keep Abu away from him in order, in order to score some points and perhaps come away steal the victory as I see it now. Yeah, uh, Belmar's got to keep uh, a jab and a bow and, 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 and keeping them off and, and, and catching them with straight right hands coming in. Jabs right hands. Uh, ain't got too much time in there for a guy like Abu uh, charging and, and throwing punching from every angle. So uh, you can't use all your boxing ability. So you got to stay with the, the main basic and the, and the best combination that, that ever lived in boxing is a straight uh, uh, left jab with a straight right hand. Uh, Cassius Clay proved that in many great fights of his. The last minute, the, and his, one of Cassius Clay's greatest fights was a great left jab and a straight right hand. Uh, it takes the, the win away. Third and final round. Belmar in the white trunks. Abu in the black trunks, trimmed in white. Looks like Belmar has a, is fighting an uphill battle as Abu just keeps that pressure consistent. Now Belmar trying to get Abu away from him and, and trying to land some solid punches of his own. But it seems to me that Abu is ahead on, on points, Paul. Well, uh, for aggression and landing some uh, some punches, yes, I'd have to give it to Abu. He's pressing the fight. He's missing a lot. But uh, he, he is taking the uh, the fight uh, with, the, with the aggressive punches and uh, especially uh, uh, staying on top and uh, making a fight out of it. These fighters seem a little bit off balance as Abu has, has Belmar in the corner. He's just working a ball left, right, but Belmar comes back with the combination trying to turn Abu around and get himself out of the corner. Give, a, give credit to Belmar as he's fighting a pretty good fight of trying to avoid this pressure by Abu. Yep, you got to give a lot of uh, uh, credit to Belmar. He's taking a lot of a punches, a lot of pressure from Abu, but uh, he needs more than that. He's got to throw punches. Uh, the credit's not going to win him that fight. He's got to no. jab and throw right hand. There's no, like I say, there's no luck in these fights. You have to win them on your own. You have to win them with your ability, and you only win them by throwing punches. Throwing punches and landing them, and that's what Abu has been doing most of this fight. He's just keeping that pressure consistent, coming right in at Belmar. Belmar doesn't seem to know what to do with this fighting style of Abu. Abu just keeps it coming right straight forward. Belmar, I think if he had more time, could try to figure out this Abu, but these rounds are, are only two minutes long and the fights are only three rounds. And Abu seems to have Belmar hurt on the far ropes and that'll do it for the 156 pound semi-final between Belmar and Abu. And he, uh, in my books, I think he, he takes the uh, Credibility away from uh, Belmont. The winner by decision in the 156 pound finalist in the Baloo Card. Martin Abu comes away with the victory in the 156 pound semi final, beating Belmar. Well, only if he uh, put some punches together and uh, started slowing Abu down, which he didn't do in the first three rounds, and he was getting. Uh, uh, hurt by those punches, he was uh, slowing down and seemed to be wobbling a little bit. So uh, I think the more rounds that would have uh, came in this bout would have done any good for Belmont.